Well, hello, welcome back, welcome back. Slightly different one today. We are looking at Silver Sun pickups. We haven't done one of these uh, before. I'm not too familiar with them actually, but um, it was requested by um, Frank Ayn, who's one of our lovely patrons. If you don't know what that is, go check it out below in the link, etc. Not too difficult, but I'm gonna do the sort of leady parts as well. So we're gonna get the whole shebang. So let's crack on, shall we? First riff goes like this. Is lovely. I really love this tune. Just E string 11th fret. All standard tuning. Woohoo! So you do that um, eight times. Then ninth fret uh, for three. And on the fourth one, you do a hammer on. holds out for an extra eighth note. Then you play the 11th fret again, and then a half step bend. And at the end, there's a little, a little down up at 16th note. Okay, right at the end, so slowly. Two, three, four. So notice when I do the, when I do that bend, I'm returning it back to its normal pitch for the two at the end, right? Then the fourth time. You basically got um, a slide nine to seven, nine to 11. And I use my, um, cause I'm using my third finger on the 11th fret. You can play to get back to where you were, right? So first finger to go down third finger to go back up. Then you've got a couple of power chords for two bars. Um, C sharp to B. That, with that little fill, there's a guitar overdub there, right? It's a second guitar part. Um, so that is just four, six. And you play that eight times and you drop it down uh, that's the fourth fret, right? And then you drop it down to the second fret. You could play it here. Actually easier um, because your third finger's in the right place. But um, that's not how he plays it, actually. He does go down, down here. And then you've got this. That's all on the D, and then the 11th fret on the A. Right, um, and I think that plays. While the other guitar part is playing. Just plays over the top of that. Then you're into the verse. The verse is um, just a, a palm muted version of that intro riff. Then when you go to the chords, you've got another overdub which goes. So that part, when you hit the 11th fret, that's when you're going to go to that C sharp. All right, there's also this, two, three. That 
carries on over the top, which is just 9, 11, 9 again, okay? To that 11th fret on the A. Then he busts out a little... Busts out a little, a little solo part. Um, and I've gone to the bridge pickup there to give, make it a bit twangier. Um, basically, 14th fret. So 14, 14, 12, 14, right? D to A. Then you've got a hammer on from the 12th to the 14th. And then 12, 11. So that first bar, two, three, four. All right, and then you're into the next uh, next bar. That hangs into the next bar, actually. And then you've got this. And that is just ninth fret to the 11th on the A. For this next part, Cover the um, A and the D string on the ninth fret with your first finger. Because you want it to ring out a little bit. Hear that note? Ringing out. So, slowly, that is hammer on, and then 9, 11. Played twice. And then the ninth fret again. Then seven, six, two. Or you could play if you want, you could play the seventh fret on the E. So the whole thing slowly. I prefer the slide. Then you've got this part. Which is 11-9-9. Now your first finger can cover the ninth fret on the second, third and fourth strings there. And then you've got the third finger on the eleventh fret on the A. So it's a rest on the first beat. One. Then you go to octaves, and you're basically going to be playing the uh, ninth octave on the A string. The D string gets muted by a bit of meat off your first finger. You know the you know the drill by now. And slowly it's. That's the first phrase. So, ninth fret first, up stroke whacker, and another down stroke. Okay, that rhythm. But what I'm doing there is my fingers are coming off the strings there just lightly. So they mute. Like that. And then you go up to the 11th fret. Then you've got this rhythm. Once you get to the 11th fret. So that again. So that's that. Slowly. Next time when it goes. So slowly. And there's another verse bit. Right, which is what you played at the beginning of that other little lead part, which is just 14, 14, 12, 14. All right, just a little variation. 
Then there's some more octaves. And again, it's nothing that um, hasn't been put in before, but the um, uh, the dynamics are always building throughout the tune, you know? It's uh, kind of got that teenage angsty kind of vibe, right? <laughs> So he's playing something like that, right? So that's the melody line he's playing, right? That's just down to the seventh fret there. But it's with a load of with a load of wax in there as well, right? So it's... I think the third time he does the same as the first, fourth time he plays. So... 9, 7, 11, all right? And there's like a fuzz kind of solo, but he does the same part as he did before. you get this crescendo which is awesome all I'm playing there is just an E power chord on the seventh fret on the A string so two on the um, on the low E that rhythm just repeated so there you have it people hope you enjoyed that one and frank thank you very much indeed for your support kind sir see you all soon cheers bye bye